95-7, the game. All righty, let's get right to it. On the line, we've got former 49 quarterback, 49er quarterback, Jeff Garcia. Uh, Jeff, thank you so much for taking the time today. Appreciate it, man. You got it, man. How's everybody doing in the Bay? Uh, we're doing good. Um, but we, we got to get to your Instagram post first, uh, if you don't mind. because <laughs> Let's go. All right. Let's talk and, about it. Okay, you're a Bay Area guy. You know the region. We know you pretty well. Um, there are a lot of people that thought there was some sexism in that in that tweet, some misogyny, and then uh, just some logic that that many people think are flawed. So the the, the first thing I'm just going to ask you is if you want to clarify or expound on on that post. Well, first of all, I don't know anybody. An apology for my. Uh, beliefs and my experience at playing the quarterback position, the difficulty of that position, the expectation on that position, how qualified you have to be to be one of 32 starters in the National Football League from a mental standpoint, from a physical standpoint. You know, people want to comment and tear apart, tear down individuals based upon statistics. The only statistic that really matters right now is are you winning games or are you losing games? There was nothing sexist about what I had to say outside of the fact that, yes, women don't play professional football. There are women that do participate in football. But had it been a man saying the same thing, I would have had the same response for that man who has never stood in the pocket, who has never delivered a touchdown pass, who's never taken a hit to the head while trying to make a play from within the pocket. And to okay. be able to sit there and criticize someone at the at the level that Jimmy Garoppolo is at, at the level of any of these quarterbacks are at, at the level that I played at, and say that it was sexist, misogynistic, uh, r- people wanted to say I had, there's racism behind it, people want to break me down as a player, Whatever you think, whatever you want to say, doesn't matter to me. All I care about are what Niner fans and faithful think, what my family thinks, and what my close friends think. That's all that matters. And all of this other hypocrisy, this, uh, this craziness that has stemmed from my comments about a woman, toward a woman, who is breaking down Jimmy Garoppolo basically saying that he's along for the ride, that he's surrounded by a great team, that he's not contributing in any sort of way. First of all, you go play a game in zero-degree weather and see how productive you are at even throwing a football 10 yards with nobody rushing you and nobody else around you. It's not an easy thing to do. Secondly, let's break down the game where we had a critical holding call on Trent Williams inside the five-yard line that probably would have led to a touchdown instead of the unfortunate interception that took place the next down. Then we had the face mask, again, going inside the five-yard line. All right, Jeff. That brought us back. So we're talking 14 points, potentially, fair, that a fair, quarterback would have led the fair, 49ers. Fair enough. Five. Fair enough. But he, here's, <laughs> here's the way I took it. Uh, and I said this yesterday. Um, why Mina Kimes? Because the reason I ask that is, Jeff, you know if you've been, you follow the 49ers, this is not an outlandish take from a media member. There are a lot of media members out there that have not given Jimmy Garoppolo a lot of credit. They've used phrases like they win in spite of him. So this particular, you know, this particular uh, take is, is out there, and, and many men have put it out there. First of all, what's your football background? I have a bas- I play Division three basketball. Okay. Here's another thing. I don't seek out what people are saying. I'm not sitting here listening to ESPN. There was a post that came through my feed from a 49er faithful. Okay? It was in his post where he screenshot what Nina had said based upon the little video. Or he shared the video. I made a comment on his post, or at least that's what I thought I was doing, to the 49er faithful, saying, hey, you know what? I'm behind Jimmy. Hey, he knows he has to play better. We're all very self-critical 
at this level of how we play the game. If we're not, we wouldn't be at this level. He's more critical of himself than anybody else, maybe. It just so happened that she was the, the mouth on the end of the, 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 the video post that was shared. It would have been Kip Bayless, if it would have been you, if it would have been anybody else, and I happened to just see that ripping into the 49er quarterback, I would have said the same thing. It had nothing to do with her being a woman. It just so happened to be the timing that I caught the, the subject matter. And you know what? I don't care what anybody else has to say about me and my experience and what I did as a player because I know what I attained as a player, overcoming a lot of obstacles to get to that professional elite level. Okay, and let me ask you. Four-time Pro Bowl quarterback, what? and I led teams to playoffs, and I won three different division titles in three different divisions. So tell me how many quarterbacks did that shit without being drafted, with having to go to the Canadian Football League. Hey, there are a lot of quarterbacks out there that were wasted draft picks that are talking and sticking up for her that didn't do a damn thing on the football field. Well, can, so whatever can I... it may be, hey, I'm in 49er country. I'm supporting my team. Hey, it means something to me. I grew up in the Bay Area. I'm loyal to the team. I played for the team. I'm going to support the guys on the team, and I'm going to put it in somebody else's face when they rip on somebody that doesn't know anything about playing the game because she's never been in the huddle. Can I, criticize, can I criticize Jimmy Garoppolo? Go ahead. Everybody does. But you know what? It's fuel to his fire. Fuel to his fire. But, hey, he's but, not playing but technically, football. I never played the game. Football game. I never played that, the game, Jeff. I never threw a touchdown pass. Why can't I do it? Yeah. Like, why am I allowed to criticize Jimmy Garoppolo? I never played in the NFL. Look, if you were the if you were the one that criticized him and said the similar things, and I happened to see it, I would have said the same thing about you. I would have said the same thing about you. You haven't played in the game. You don't know what it's like to be out there with eleven guys breathing down your neck. You don't know what it's like. So You're right. I so said the same thing. Yeah. It has nothing to do with her being a woman or. You being a man, it has everything to do with having the ability and actually having the experience of being in that position. But and real, you know what? But, hey, hey, I'm in, I'm in a, I'm in a, in a war zone right now in the sense of we're playing the Rams. I'm fired up. Hey, we're one game away from the Super Bowl. I, I I'm, I'm, I'm in the 49er corner. I'll go to battle for them. I'll go whatever for them because that's how I feel. And I, I've, I've always been a fighter. And well, so, you know what? People want to throw those at me. I'm going to come right back at them. Well, the the idea that only football <laughs> players. No, hey, listen, man. I appreciate you coming on. I appreciate your passion, and I'm not here to. I'm not here to uh, get into a screaming match with you at all. No, and I hope I'm, I'm not, not doing that. I'm not here. But, to, I'm, and I'm not here to talk about what happened yesterday because it's yesterday's news. I want to talk about what's going on this Sunday with 49ers and why they're more physical than the Rams, and that's what gives them the advantage and has it gives them a chance to win a football game because the offensive line handles their defensive line. They've done it multiple times. Our D-line gets after their run game, gets after their pass game. We need a little bit better play in the Jeff. defensive secondary. All those things. Jeff. I'm here to talk about Jeff. Sunday. But listen, Jeff, you're no dummy, man. You stepped in it, and you mentioned your family. You got a wife. You got a mother. I'm just asking you, and I'm blown away. You don't feel that you need to apologize, Demina? Nobody's get second guessing your, 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 you know, your knowledge of football. Dude, but hey, come on, hey, man, read I the room, no, Jeff. It, look it. I, I am. I'm a very kind person. I'm a very giving person. Do I have a little bit of a chip on my shoulder because of? How I had to prove myself consistently, constantly, absolutely. When I hear somebody, whether it's Mina or somebody else, talk about the game of football and give their insight and their professional uh, opinion without having ever actually done it, there's a flaw to that. Yeah, everybody's entitled to their opinion. That's what media is all about. Hey, they have a, a platform to speak, it had nothing to do with disrespecting women. Nothing. And if people want to turn it that way, that's sad. That's sad on them, and that's sad on you for thinking that I would disrespect a woman in that sort of way. All I said was, you've never played the game. Well, you don't know that, what it's like to be on the field. Well, why not Stop apologize? With me. Well, I'll get off the phone right now. I'm not going to talk about this crap anymore if this is what the conversation is going to be. We, well, I was brought on to talk about the 49er game. Hey, hey that's Jeff. yesterday's news. It's history. It's old. It's old. 
Move. Move on. Jeff, Move on. it's not all. Oh, Jeff, man. you hey, we told you that we were going to bring this up. You're again, you're playing the victim to the whole media circus. Screw that, man. Jeff, the Screw idea the, we're the, the ones that are on the field being critiqued by 75,000 people by New who knows how many media, by millions of people watching, we have to deal with it every day. I stood up for my, not my teammate, but hey, a fellow 49er. That's all I did. Why? That's all I did. First I'm ready of, to move on. Hey, you guys have a great day, man. I Jeff, you, you knew we were Niners. asking about you about hey, this, and you acknowledged that's why you were going to come on. Hey, you you know, acknowledged. still on the field, Stoney. He still care, thinks guys. he's playing. Yes, brother. Yeah. He still thinks he's playing, Stoney. That's too bad, because I I wanted because I didn't oh, get to man. the other part of it, which is yeah. you if you've never thrown real, a football, you got to the real part. If you've man. never thrown a football, you can't talk about football. And like that's the last thing I wanted to he ask. Has him. No regret on anything he said, none at all. And that sounded like a dude that thought he was playing Sunday. That's the worst part. I mean, it's all bad, but man, 